All right, Shalom, another gem that's going to go back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here for a bear. Get out of those churches, man. Get out of those churches, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Get out of those churches, man. Wisdom cried without. She uttered for a voice in the streets, man. We're going to prove according to the Bible that the God of the Bible ain't dealing with those churches, man. Right? So let's hop right into it. This is Jeremiah chapter 7. Coming straight out of the Bible, right? Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 4. Trust ye not in lying words. Because our people believe lies. They love lies. They trust in lies. When the scriptures tell us what? Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 4. Trust ye not in lying words. Saying, the temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord are these. And that's what you got. That's what these church pastors be saying. That the Lord is dwelling in those temples. Man, you got a church on every corner. And every pastor. And they all speaking different doctrines. When the scriptures tell you that there'll be no division among you, man, that all the men of the Lord speak the same thing, but you got all these churches and they speak in different things, man. Every church got a different doctrine, man. So the Lord said, trust ye not in lying words. You see these false pastors standing in front of these buildings telling you that the Lord is dwelling within that temple? Trust ye not in lying words. Look, the scriptures tell you exactly what the temple of the Lord is. Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they hear these scriptures over and over, and they still like, nah, yo, the Lord is dealing in my church. And you call that the Holy Ghost, man? You call that the Holy Spirit, all that jumping around, falling around, shaking, like monkeys and hyenas running from one end of the church to the other end of the church, falling all down. Somebody got to hold you down when you're doing all this shaking. Those are demons, man, proving that the Lord ain't up in there, man. This is Acts chapter 7, verse 48. How be it? The Most High, Yahweh, who they even call God, right? Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. What's the temple made with, made with hands? The churches, man. Okay? The churches, man. Those are the temples that are made with hands, right? How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. As saith the prophets, man. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? Saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Or what is the place of my rest? Look, we just read in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 4, that you got these men running around talking about the temple of the Lord. Are these, are these, are these, meaning these churches? And you got Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, saying, He ain't dwelling in temples made with hands. If Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, would dwell in any of these churches, why do you, th you think these people would be getting shot down in there? Don't, th don't you think these churches would be well protected if the God of the Bible was dwelling in there? You think anyone would be able to burn it down, blow it up, run up in there, shoot people down? If the God of the Bible was really dwelling up in there, man? If the Son of the Most High was actually dwelling in there, if their spirit was actually dwelling in that place, you think someone would be able to blow it up, burn it down, shoot it up, spray paint it? Something's wrong with our people, man, because they trust in lying words, man. Get out of those church houses, man. You know, you might be the next victim, man. You know? You might be the next victim, man, to get, to get towed the hell up in those church houses, man. The Lord said he ain't dwelling in them, man. We're going to bring out a couple of scriptures just proving it over and over again, man. Next scripture, Acts chapter 17, verse 21, 24, Salakia. Yahweh that made the world are all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. But then our people will watch a video like this and they'll say, we don't know what the hell we're talking about, right? We speak in the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? And the scriptures tell us what? If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. I get that right quick. This is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, 
It is because there is no light in them. And every time the men of the Lord speak, they speak according to the Bible. They speak according to the light. You know, these church pastors don't speak according to this Bible, man. That's why all these things are happening, man, in these churches, man. And I'm going to read it again. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Yahweh, that's who they only call God, right? That made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. Dwell not in temples made with hands, man. Okay? Look in all these scriptures right here, straight to the point. The God of the Bible said, yo, I'm not dwelling in temples made with hands, man. All right? I'm not dwelling in no church house, no church building, man. Wisdom cry without. She uttered her voice in the streets. I'm going to definitely get that through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yavashai, Abaratazah. Look, next scripture. Just proving that the God of the Bible ain't in no church houses, right? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For we are laborers together with Yahweh. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are the Most High's buildings. You know what I'm saying? The men starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down and the camps affiliated with them. We are the temple of the Lord, man. Okay? I'm going to read it again. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. And it's just a, a, a plain, straight to the point lesson, man. Ain't nothing deep about it, man. Get out of those church houses, man. Before you end up being the next victim, man, that the God of the Bible judge, man. You have been warned. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For we are laborers together with Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Yeah, we out there to plant that seed, man. Plant this word. That's why we go out there on the highways and byways week in and week out with this word. To plant that seed. Ye are the Most High's building man okay we pieces of the brick man okay lord yahweh shai who they even call jesus christ is the chief cornerstone man we part of the bricks though man and so and it's a wonderful thing right and the majority of our people they're gonna get caught out there by the god of the bible too man and i'm gonna jump down same chapter first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high the man out there preaching that word in truth and sincerity and all harmonious of spirit, ye are the temple of the Most High, right? Look, and the spirit of the Most High dwelleth within you, right? That's heavy right there, man. So so what spirit is dwelling in these churches? If the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah is dwelling in his men, aka the temples, them different churches, then then what kind of spirit is dwelling in those people that's in those church houses? Those the scriptures call it the holly houses, man. Okay? And it's just like you go in the club. It's just like you going to the club, man. Go to the club. And then turn around and go to the club on Saturday. And we ain't promoting that. We're just, just for an example. Go to the club on Saturday and then turn right around and go to church on Sunday. There's no difference, man. Number of whores up in there, man. It's a fashion show, man. Okay? You know, the, the pastor is the DJ. These churches be having women up in there twerking and all that. I seen one video where they was playing juvenile. Back that ass up. And you had women all down on the floor. But I guess the Lord is dwelling up in there, right? Come on, man. Once again, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High. And the Spirit, and that, and that the Spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of the Most High with different philosophies, different vain customs, cigarettes, weed, crack. You name it, man. Right? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy. Which temple ye are, man? You can't get plainer than that, man. You don't need no big giant congregation. Um, these people think having a big congregation, the God of the Bible, must be there. You know? They got 23,000, hundreds of thousands of people, man. Hey, look, the God of the Bible says this, St. Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where two of this Lord, Yahweh Shai, who they going to call Jesus Christ, right? Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? A so-called black man. This is his words. St. Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, and those church houses most definitely ain't promoting the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the Lord said, what? For where two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them, man. Okay? Because the most I dwell within us, man. Not those 
church holler houses, man. Okay? And the scriptures already told us how he told Moses to build a church with no tools, man. So when you use those tools, those bulldozers, so forth, those dump trucks, so forth and so on, you defile the temple, man. Anytime you bring tools to it, you defile the temple, man. Okay? The most highest building is the men that you see out there on the highways and byways. And we're going to get this right quick. Since I keep quoting, we're going to go straight to the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. This is Proverbs chapter 1. We started on um, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. That's where, the, that's where you can find the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures at. In the streets. That's where you can find the Lord at. In the streets where his men is at, man. We just read, ye are the temple of the Lord, man. Okay? We just read that. Ye are the temple of the Lord. How many times we got to read it? How many times we going to read it, man? Over and over and over again, man. All right? Once again, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cry without. She uttered her voice in the streets. See, one thing about these church pastors, you when you go to church, you can't ask none of them um, questions. You can't ask none of these church pastors questions, man. They will take you out of that thing real fast. I mean, look, we have seen it happen over and over and over again, man. And you're going to continue to see it. Because the pastors don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. Okay? Let's see. Let's get this right quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Clearing straight to the point, man. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High. And ye are not your own. Okay? So so another cut, man. The Spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai dwelleth within you, not in that building. Going right back to Psalm, going right back to Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 21. She cried from the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates. In the city she uttered for words, saying, How long, how long, ye simple ones, we love simplicity. Yeah, because fools love lies, man. Our people trust in lying words, man. They trust and believe that the God of the Bible is truly up in those church houses, man. Well, continue to keep going to those church houses and judgment is going to come upon you. You have been warned by the God of the Bible through his service, man, the prophets, man, over and over and over again. Look, the warning is going to end soon come, though, man. Get out of those church houses, man. You know, how long you simple ones, will you love simplicity, all this singing and dancing going on up in those church houses? When the God of the Bible said, take away from me the noise of thy songs, man. Look, you how about Shemel Shine trying to hear the noise that's coming out of them church houses, man? All that folly going on up in there. The Lord said, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. Take all that nonsense away from me, man. That's all that's going on up in there. It's singing and dancing. Ain't no, ain't no um, truth being spoken up in there. These church pastors ain't teaching you that you're the Hebrew Israelites. Let's get this, though. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. So all those church songs that people be singing week in and week out, the God of the Bible, Yahweh, Bashim, I said, take that noise away from me. He called it noise. He didn't even call it music. He called it noise, man. Going right back to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1, verse uh, 22. How long will you simple ones? And our people simple as all hell, man. The simple believe of every word, man. The pastor ain't teaching you. The pastor in the church is teaching you that the law are done away with. When the Lord said, and I'm saying these words abide uh, over you as long as you live, man. The laws ain't never done away with, man. But you got the pastor in the church telling the law are done away with. He can't show you a scripture where it says the law are done away with. But we can show you a scripture in the Bible where it says the law are not done away with. So we ought, to, we ought to obey the most high rather than man, right? Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 17, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come not, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So the laws are never done away with, man. That's how you govern a city with the laws of the Bible, man. But our, but our people are so simple. That's why the scripture said, how long you simple was when you love simplicity. And the scorner delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. So why y'all making fun of the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways? You got the God of the Bible ripping these churches to shreds, man. Come out of these church houses, man. Shalom.